This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Uh, this is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest and myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. Welcome. Welcome. Yes, 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 yes. You must make them go back and Yes. Home. This is mm-hmm. nice. You guys, I am, <laughs> Okay. I am a dead person today. I am exhausted. Okay. How are you? You're here. I am. You're here. I am, of course. Not not too late. <laughs> not too late, but you know. I mean, Me- I am, but I did tell you guys I was on set. I couldn't get out. But I'm here. I'm here. Right. Because I am the love in the music love life. You need the love. People are just going to take that as bougie all over again. What? I mean, you, you, why do I, I was get... on set all day. I'm, yeah. I'm parched. I, I just I I didn't finally say... made time for you. I did not. And what is that accent? What I'm is terribly that? late. I'm That's so sorry. That's my Hamptons accent. I'm so sorry. Hamptons accent. Yes. <laughs> That's my Hamptons, isn't it? Is it? Very, it is, yeah. it is, yes. Very posh. <laughs> so you're dead. I am. I am. I am. It's absolutely <laughs> dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're glad you're here, though. Of course, of course. There's a, there's we a waited on you. On. You guys did. I feel so special. We shit on the guest for you. We did. We did. He'll be here next week. Wow. And and unfortunately, we're missing the launch of the podcast, but we'll have to make up for it next week because. You know. Oh wow! Yeah. So the podcast isn't out yet. No, it launches like tomorrow. Oh man, that's bad. Sorry. We'll make it up to Amir. Ugh, sorry, Amir will be here next week. And I listened to the the uh, was that so that was the pilot that I heard. Yeah. Very good pilot. Yeah, he's very good dope. Pilot. He's very dope. He's an actual journalist. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, he's really dope. So, Amir, we look forward to having you. Amir Shaw will be with us next week to talk about his new podcast. Oh, wait a minute. He was on 910 Rule before, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, was. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we already know Amir. Yeah, Amir will Shouts be back. Shouts out to Amir. But he's actually going to come in and hang out. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Dig that. Cool. Yeah. Looking look forward, forward to it. it. Yeah. yeah, especially, I mean, there's a lot, you know, trap with trap music being like, you know, I don't know why the celebration, like, of trap, like T.I. did the Trap Museum. I mean, what, a year ago, 2 Chains did the... Trap House, and now he has an entire series. And there's a lot of, you know, articles being written about, like, you know, this new, that. well, it's not new, but the genre of trap rap. I mean, you know, white people know about it. So, you know, it's time. Yeah. But you, you know what? I think it's also, like, it's a tourist attraction as well because people come to Atlanta and they want to be able to see the people that they see on TV. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they come for the strip clubs. They come for the girls with the big booties. Who they are come, in they, the strip clubs. They come for right? the transgenders. They do. They do. With, with who also have big mm-hmm. booties <laughs> and are in the strip clubs. Yeah, I'm just so saying. So pretty much anything you're looking for is in the Atlanta strip club. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People that have never been to a strip club before have whoa, heard whoa, of Magic whoa. City. I'm sorry. I just had a reset. There are transgenders in the strip club now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you didn't hear that either, right? That, I, that, that got by me. What night? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, not the regular strip club? Yeah. I don't, I mean, they, don't, they may not be dancing, but they're oh, in there getting, uh, oh. oh, no, no, they're not dancing. At least they're, not to my knowledge. Oh, okay. Whoa. Well, okay, but it, it may not uh, be whoa, because I know as a woman, I was told, when I first moved here, I was told as a female, if you want to get a guy, go to the strip club. Right. You know, because the guys actually, you know, the girls are dancing, but they're actually going to talk to the girls that are there. And there are a lot of transgenders in the strip club. They enjoy it. Mm. That's so you all may want, I mean, unless, you know, that's what you're looking for. I think people are kind of fluid these days. That's the worst advice, too, by the way. Go to strip club to get a man. I, I never <laughs> followed it. I never fucking... followed it. I just felt like, you know, she's there. She's showing everything. I'm here. I'm covered. Everything is covered up. It's going to be hard to keep his attention. I'm not going to do it. Here's That's good advice to someone who's trying to get paid because what yeah. you will learn in a strip club is who has money. Right. Because they're going to be getting rid of it. 
Yeah, and, and and maybe you could be the 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 reciprocal of that uh, of the way. He but you got to be smart. See, most girls are going there and look for the drug dealer, the baller. Nah, nah, nah. Look for, look for the, the dude with Larry on his shirt. I agree. Because Larry with the Larry on his shirt, if he's spending his check on strippers, he wants him to spend his money on. Yeah. And that's that's hard earned money. That's good money. It probably won't go to his wife and kids. I see that. You know what? For the first time, you and I are on. Fist yeah, bump. fist bump. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's game. That's, that's game. That is some game. Deanna, be honest, just gave you guys some game. I hope <laughs> that the ladies are out there appreciating that because you just really came with it. That time. I think yeah. it's your first fist bump of the year. It is, yeah. and it's of the show, it's, and it's almost mm. over. You know, the year is almost over. <laughs> it is almost over. It's getting yeah. cool. I like it though. Come on, Kevin. You got one. You got some. Man. I take. <laughs> she I ain't forcing that, it. All that pressure on you. Right. you know what I'm yeah. oh, just, come dance, on. nigga. Dance. I'm, I'm honestly just happy that. What what I heard at first was that there are transgenders in the strip club, and I thought you meant like on stage, right? Like no. coming to the stage, T Rex. No, not that I know of. Charles. <laughs> T S. No, Lolana. they wouldn't have those names though. They would switch them into something very delicious. Wouldn't wow. matter. That's what I would hear. That would. It, 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 so if if you were if if we were in a strip club yes. and they said come to the center stage T S Toyana yeah and everybody turned their backs would that be would then that be like then hate? the LGBTQ community would be up be- in so there so because I don't want to see a dick bouncing around on stage I'm I'm a hater well, first of all they tuck it okay they tuck it or it may oh not yeah even. that makes it better yeah it does he said bouncing around it's tucked so well I mean okay Atlanta clubs are not like that though this is not Miami this is not you're New talking York. about the booty cheeks they get bread. butt ass naked in Atlanta you can't there's no tuck well, like, nobody you see no narrow ass boy on stage <laughs> <running around. laughs> but it's Some not a boy way. it's how a you, transgender how do you tuck it if you have nothing on well you I, I guess they tape it or put, uh, position it to the back <laughs> It goes to the back. <laughs> he got his dick taped to his leg. <laughs> I wonder, though, what happens when they get an erection. Oh, I don't know. We need to educate ourselves. I don't know. There's got to be someone, a listener out there that can share that's, this. That's why I couldn't be an actor. Because if I had to do a, a sex scene, if they tape me down, they better tape it while it's hard. <laughs> oh, that's just a bad... What? I'm I, a grower. That, that's a... That's a horrible. I'm picture. a grower, not a shower. So, I, oh my god, I, they better tape it oh, while it's Jesus hard. They get Lord. give me hard first, tape okay, it down. All right. What, what do what, they use to tape it? Is it like ankle tape, gorilla tape? I don't know, but when they're not, <laughs> first of it's all, it's like ankle tape, like a football player on the sideline. <laughs> when they're not, okay, think about this. I want you guys to get a good visual, right? right. When they're not hard, they're all kind of pathetic. And then, if, what if you use like a really thick tape that, like, and you taped it down, then you had to like rip it off. No. And then, saying, like, and then the hair, and it's all stuck, and it's 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 little and small and fleshy, and what? I thought you were about the pain. What are you talking about? The actual penis is taped. The small, insignificant, soft penis. Is she having, significant? It can cre- you create a kid with that thing. Is, is it's she insignificant having like a, in that in that form? There's no form. It's insignificant. It's little. It's like a little turtle what's that won't sad, come out. What sad image of a penis do you have? <laughs> like I feel like the ASPCA commercial should be on. <laughs> The heart of this like wrinkled sad penis. Just, you gotta love them for the potential. That's what, you gotta but love I'm the saying, potential. It's like this little thing that doesn't want to come out, and then you just tape it, and then the tape is stuck to it. And it's right, stuck but you can tape it like that because if the kid is in a shot, save the penis. Like don't let it be somebody. Could fine. Take some of the. It could the tape could take off some of the 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 skin. Mm, no, see, I don't even like having this conversation. This That's why you got to be uncircumcised. Then, oh my god, that is disgusting. Uh, if is anyone is uncircumcised in two thousand and plenty of people 18, are. No, I mean with new children. Like, please get your children circumcised. Like, I don't know why. Don't listen to Crystal. She has no idea about culture anywhere but Atlanta, Georgia. Everybody doesn't that doesn't agree with that, Crystal. There there are countries that that don't uh, agree with that. I understand. I understand. Understand, but I'm just saying that it's if you much are in better. 2018, please get your kids <laughs> circumcised. Like that nah. is very judgmental. No, nah, that that's sounds like judgmental. that sounds like there's a story behind no, it. You've been traumatized by a hooded no, snake. No, I just I, no, no. But You've I just, been I, just I, do, I, it, I don't think that you were the sanitary. Aunt. You were the ant, weren't you? And he the had an ant eater. Oh my god, no, that's disgusting. I don't think that's why I don't think there are any. I don't think people do. I think people get circumcised now. I don't think I don't think there there are whole I countries not, that don't. I have not been with a foreigner. Okay. Yeah, I've not, I've not from a firing. I've not went down that lane yet. I'm open if they're circumcised. They won't be. Okay, <laughs> so then I'm closed. <laughs> they, they won't be. I'm closed. I don't even think people in England do. They, people in England, 
Circumcised? I don't think they do. I don't bloody you know. Circumcision know. is actually know. like a You know Jewish the fucking thing. zebra. <laughs> you know zebra. Yeah. An advertisement. <laughs> I don't know about but penis. But circumcision is actually <laughs> circumcision is actually a Jewish tradition, right? It started with Jews, with Jews. Yeah. It did. But they're like 13 when they do it. Now you know all the whole tubs are going nuts right now because you said Jews and Jewish. Oh really? It's not, uh, the Israelites did it first. Yes. Oh my God! Hey. I know the, the, black, white, the white the white Israelites, Israelites, right? The white Israelites. Hey. Did it. There, there are no black Israelites. I'm just saying the whole tips. I'm trying to. I'm trying. I mean, to there might be a couple want. of black Israelites. See? Whoopi Goldberg hey, is coming. Yeah. You see, Look Whoopi that. Goldberg is. Jewish. He's itching. He's getting. He's getting warmed up. <laughs> hey, <I'm> just... <laughs> he's coming. Yeah. <laughs> You hear it trying to come out of me, I Joe? see. It's just like... He, he, <laughs> <laughs> Levi, no, Levi's is a pair of jeans, not a people, oh not a tribe God. of Judah. You know what? You're just disrespectful to everyone. You just... I, <laughs> I just... Come on, man. We, it's a lot of good stories. There's a lot of them. I don't believe any of them, by the way. It's not that I don't just... It's not that I don't believe their story, too. I mean, it's not that I just... Like, it's right. Don't you believe, are equally... Yeah. You're <laughs> equally uh, distru- disrespectful I don't believe any of these ridiculous right. creation stories. So, yeah. No, no, no Big Bang, nothing? Mm. Uh, Big Bang actually isn't a creation story in the same sense. Big Bang, they, you know, they can prove a couple of those things. Well, they can prove So, it. is that what you're rolling with? Uh, I would go with the Big Bang before I went with. No, I mean, what are you rolling with? Like, what are you saying? If if your if your kid says to you, if your granddaughter comes to you and says, "Hey, how did I? How do we get here? What's this?" You're Big Bang. Get, okay, all right. So that's what you're rolling with. Okay. Are you a flat earther? No, no, I'm not a flat earther. No, no. only because and there's only. I mean, my my reason is very is very stupid. It's not intelligent at all. Everything you know. Everything that we see that's outside of the Earth is round, and then pictures of the Earth from other places looks round. Hmm. Eh. I just, you know, logic. I, when, they, when they say all those pictures from other places, that's, that's a lie. Yeah, that's fine. But I, want, I wonder, like, okay, so why do we have a round moon right. and a flat exactly. earth? Everything we see don't. is, but I mean, I've seen actually a, a, a GoPro camera on a balloon that went up outside of the atmosphere, mm-hmm. or tried to anyway. Mm-hmm. It burst after it got to a certain height. But as it's rising up, you start to see the horizon change, you know, like the, the farther away from the earth it gets, the more you can see the horizon. And the further away from it, the the more you see the actual horizon, not just down the street, but, you know, the edge of, of sight. And it's rounded. Now, that may be some type of lens flare, lens refraction, whatever. It might be, but my dumbass eyes see a circle. I, I don't know what y'all seeing. It looks uh, convex, concave, whatever that shit is. I don't, I don't know. I I just I look at regular stuff. I don't. I so seen you're a flat video. earther? No, I'm not a flat earther. No, I don't. <laughs> no, no. You calling me bougie? And you're are you a flat earther? Yeah. No. Well, I just I don't I don't believe in that the earth the is educated flat. Educated snob talk. Hey, heaven. Everybody's a snob. Everybody's pompous. Everybody's no. Too, everyone is not. Yes, er, er, it's cool now. Everyone is too no. much. I don't think so. I don't think so. I no. don't think I'm everyone is. I'm living my is. best life. I'm not going back and forth with you, <laughs> Negroes. I'm beyond this. Uh, that is uh, that's a block, good one. delete. That's what we do now. Everybody's all about I, it. You know? Have you ever I cut you off? How do you know if someone blocks you? Like that is the funniest thing because people are like, I don't like her anymore. She blocked me. Like, how did you even know? They followed. They went back and looked. That means I it, never go back and look. I don't go. At, I don't. I don't care. go at all. That's, that's I sad. I don't ever care. Like I, I was actually told by a couple of girlfriends that I am. I. Yeah, you I do. should you care go back more. And be like what the hell? This shit. I don't no, care. I don't care about a lot of things. Like I have a group of girlfriends, and they'll be like going back and forth over. Oh well, you didn't introduce me to this person or this person. I'm like, I don't even care. Like I don't. I don't care I don't if somebody unfollows me. Like. I don't care if you like have more going on than I do. I don't give a fuck. I, I do really it on don't. purpose. I on purpose when I go to like I just want what's for me. Events and parties and stuff. I purposely tell them the little that I'm doing after yeah. they get through telling me the all the stuff they that they're know doing. What, yeah, it's like I'm doing such and such, such and I have this and I have this and I have this and I have this. Now you go. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not I'm really got living. nothing. Yeah, and I'm they're like, just chilling. they're like, damn, I should have said that too because I yeah. lied. Mm. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was married. Yeah, we got this placement coming up. Right. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, working Yo. on this. Oh my god, grind. Hey, you got it. We got a link. We got a yeah. link. <laughs> We, we doing big things. We, we doing big things over here. <laughs> I remember my ex husband pissed me off so bad. We were at church, and church was. I went to a church that was very up with. They were with the networking stuff. So the pastor was trying to figure out who he could figure out who to get money from. So the, everyone's going around the table saying their important jobs, and so 
my ex-husband was very smart. He was a, a, a engineer for a really big company. So I was like, get him, baby. Tell him what you do. You know, you're young. You're proud of your husband. He was like, I'm a gardener. I was like, no. <laughs> so the pastor, he tells the pastor he's a gardener, and the guy literally shifts away from him and starts right. talking to everybody else. It was so horrible but so brilliant. I got a question. So did you say no because you're not bougie? No, she wanted the credit. The status. She not the credit. the credit. Not the credit. The status. I was proud of the him. The status. He was doing good. Proud of him. She's like, you fucking us up, babe. They're not going to invite us to anything. <laughs> but I understood. I say it was brilliant because I also understood that he just didn't give a damn what those people thought about him. And I just, I'm around so many people that care so much about what other people think. And I guess, and I feel like an outsider sometimes because I'm just like, I really believe that if I'm supposed to have something, I'll have it and no one can stop me. Even people that try. You can't because that's what's supposed to be for me. So whatever you do, I'm happy for you, but it doesn't bother me. Yeah. I'm not upset. I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. I'm if you, unbothered. If you have something going on, then you don't have time to worry but about. But even if I don't, like everybody goes through times where they don't have something going on. But what I've learned about when you don't have something going on is hating and being jealous or being just petty about the fact that you don't and others do, it never that's never the key to getting to that next place. Like the pettiness and the jealousy is never what boosts you forward to having right. stuff. So even though it can be difficult sometimes to see people doing stuff that you want to do, like begrudging them for that won't propel you towards it. So it's actually going to push you further away. Yeah. So and, and you know I what's crazy it. too? Because in some cases, those people can have more than you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They just, for whatever reason, your ordinary or your plain Jane is extraordinary and mind-blowing to those They people. don't want you to have it. Some people feel much better as long as you're not doing as well as they are. And I, I have a lot of people around me like that. And it's like, uh, as long as you're beneath me, or at least what I conceive of, I'm good. But if I start to see you doing something that I feel like I should have already accomplished. Then all of a sudden, how did you get that? And it's like, uh, you, you know, know I always remember when I when I see that or I have because I have those feelings too. I'm sure you yeah. do. All of us have those feelings of slight insecurity or whatever. Yeah. But what what I think about every single time that I start that thought, I then think about the fact that everything that's good has a cost, right? Good or bad, but right. everything that's good has a cost. So. We're looking at it. It's almost like somebody who's uh, who got a, a lot of income. Mm -hmm. You have no idea what their expenditures are, though. Right, right. And you have to know that yeah. to, to envy them or to be jealous. You have to know what the expenditures are. Absolutely. Same thing goes with this. So they got a lot going on. You have to know that there's a cost to that. Right. And is, is, do, you, do you want the cost? And if you, if right. you could... You know what I'm saying? Would you still and, want that for right. yourself? Yeah, and we're, we're, you know, what's around the corner? Because everybody's journey is different. And that's just, but I think social media plays a big part in it. I also think that, you know, especially for black women, there's a very competitive energy, you know? And I think that we're taught to compete. No way. You're being facetious. I thought y'all were and magic. We are magic, but sometimes we are like, so... Little we, witches we feel little we feel intimidated spells. because we feel like, okay, her magic may be more than mine. And I think men are the ones that made us feel like that. Like I really do think that you guys are responsible <laughs> yeah, for it's our fault. making us Blame be us. competitive. Because women are competing for men. Mm, no. Yes. No, you're not. We are. We you, are competing all, all for I you guys. See, all I see is we don't need no you man. Don't even dress for Hashtag us. fuck a nigga. I hate that. That's the dumbest thing ever. Hashtag independent single That's bitch. not even a real Boss hashtag bitch. like that. Oh. What are you talking about? Hashtag I don't give a fuck about no nigga. There's I'm no tired such hashtag that oh. way. If there were, there would be... I mean, every guy that I know has at least two or three women, excluding the two of you all, of course. Why did you roll your eyes when you said of course? I'm just saying because I knew that was coming next. I don't. But I mean, you surely you know most guys that you even know. I'm trying to get me a couple though. I mean, You're I want I want to be live in stuff. I mean, I'm not cheating. No, we'll see how it goes. It's, it's <laughs> so been a, going for a lifestyle. It's been a long journey though. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I put in the work. <laughs> now let me ask you this. Okay, so if you were to if you were to insert another, you know, a sister wife, so to speak, mm -hmm. how do you make sure that that person doesn't have the same perks as the one the the woman that's been here the whole time? Perks. Like, you have to make sure that the one that's been there the longest. If I've been here for ten years, for fifteen years putting it down, she comes in on year fifteen. She can't have the same privileges that I do. No. Why? 
because that's not fair. Same. Did you have them? Did you have them day one? Did you have those privileges day one? Yeah, but I also paid for them. How? In blood, sweat, and tears. So, you guys so are not she, easy. there's a cost to it. She has to be part of a relationship that's not really her relationship. It's cost. Is she, it mine? She though? earns it. Yeah, more her than hers. But how do you prove that? Ah, I gotta prove stuff. Like yeah. your trust. You gotta yeah. just trust. Wouldn't, wouldn't no. the first wife y'all have your own relationship? Y'all got jokes and stories, and you know, what I mean? it's you know like what a saying? y'all communicate on a certain level, right? Like, cause you know you built this shit. But I don't you know want her coming in. Shit. I don't want her having the same privileges well, that I do. Her name isn't on the deed. Is she gonna get to just you know? Yes. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she is. <laughs> yeah, that's why I would never go for it. Okay, well, never would go for it. I mean, I got, I don't have. So one, that's so. all. If, 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 if we if we work out a negotiation to where she don't get, I'm just saying she would definitely not be. I mean, if 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 you're saying this is gonna be even, Steven, then who I'm said out. even, Steven? I mean, what, what does that even a, mean? A comparable woman. Who's willing to participate in the community environment? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? What? Someone of equal stature. Someone's willing to bring to the table, hey, you know what? After I've already put no, in a bunch of time. I respect all you've done, and I'm going to put up. You know what I'm saying? What if your Ooh. man was to get another publicist? But I, uh, that would drive me <laughs> nuts. Do you know something? I'll be honest. I even get mad when clients, and I have to find myself like, I get Pissed when clients even like are cool with other publicists like like and they're and the other publicists always are trying to like tell them stuff because they're really trying to poach like I get it like you're really trying to pull them right and they'll be like yeah this person I should do this and this and this and I'll be like what are you talking about right fuck out of here get away from me <laughs> <laughs> get away I'm gonna be real honest with you I'm playing I, I know I can't do the sister wife thing and it's not because I don't want to. <laughs> It's <laughs> not because it wouldn't be wonderful. It's because I just I'm disease free and I want to stay that way and I can't trust anybody. That's yeah. I can't cheat too because I don't trust anybody. I just eh, That's nasty. Good. Maybe whatever you need to keep you there, you know. No, I mean there are other reasons too. Like you know, I'm a, just a faithful guy. But yeah. like even if like for some reason my wife just you know how you get in that 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 situation where you just out of your mind, mad, angry, whatever. You're like fuck her. I'm gonna go. Duh, duh, duh. Even if I got like that, I still wouldn't because it, motherfuckers got diseases and shit. It's, I mean, not you, but a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not saying like anybody except for my wife. I'm just saying there are a lot of people out there with something and I just don't want something. I don't blame you. I don't want something either. Why are you making that face, Kevin? I'm screwed. Because they really <laughs> just a bill. Huh? It's just another bill. <laughs> That's really all it is. Has, all these women, it's just another bill. He a smile on his face like, no, 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 mm. no, no. It's just another bill, oh. man. <laughs> Somebody, another mouth to feed. Well, another I mean, liability? Well, no, see, that's the, I'm I'm choosing I'm choosing for a different reason. So you're not choosing to build something with someone. Now they both get to ignore you. Nah, this bitch got to have some already. Sorry, bitch. Oh, damn. You got to have some already. You can't come and... Not a mouth to feed. You're coming to help feed mouths. That's what I, that's oh what I said God. before. Oh, my God. So you have to come in and be a less than and work? You're not, not less than. It. You're, it's a triangle. Because you, can't, you can't be a couple and pick up a cute burden. That's a right. baby. A <laughs> baby. Yeah, no nope. Baby. Nope. I don't think I yeah, can how do cute, it. Well, hold on. How cute? Is there like a level of how cute? Like, if she's real like, 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 could your Like, could your wife just like, you and your wife just grab a... Ariana Grande or something. Somebody oh. that kind of cute. We might get grab that, us Ariana Grande. You see what I'm saying? No, I know, she, I know that she'd totally go gay for like Rosario Dawson or somebody. So, Kerry Washington. <laughs> he has a what, list What's the in chick his from head. the other chick from She Hate Me? Uh, Don, Daniela, Daniela. You know what I'm saying? Okay, about? you're doing a little much. The, yeah. the, the Spanish chick. She would, she would definitely, she could move in without. My wife would be like, what? <laughs> she don't need to have a job. Like, let's <laughs> just, she had, a, she had a, a movie in seven years. Then fuck it. We'll work it out. Be a housemaid. We'll work it out. I'm but by a housemaid. Like, I, we'll I give her a job. Two men, two husbands. Doesn't even sound right. Do the laundry. I think it does. That don't even that, that's ridiculous. Every time you bring it up, it sounds stupid. It doesn't sound stupid. Let's get to some topics, man. You, that doesn't sound like a sword fight. It sounds stupid. Two guys. <laughs> Whatever. What if I had one on either side of town? Like, what if I just had no, two boyfriends? No, no, you just get mad because they both play video games. Let me- <laughs> I don't date guys that play video games. All guys they play would. video games. Anymore. They would. All guys, no. I play, I play video games Xbox. from time to time. I you don't, don't play video games from time to time? I, I don't. I do. I play from time to time. Well, I don't date guys that play video games. But I'm thinking, like, what if I could what get one seen? Again, in Conyers? Ching, ching, what bougie. if I get one in Conyers and one in Marietta? Oh, that's I, not really a brother-husband situation. No, I think it's just two boyfriends. Two equal boyfriends on either side of town. 
I think I could do it. You had holes in area codes? Hey, yes, yes. I think it's time to say So, that. okay, I think that guys have the propensity to say dumb shit, to mess up whatever. Yeah. So you, now you have, you're up in your potential of dumb shit that can be said to you. Mm. I don't think you want to, I just guys. call them both babe. No, 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 All no. All the time. I'm saying I like say guys will talk their way out of a good situation because we say stupid shit. I would never talk my way out of a good situation. Guys, what? are you listening to what I'm saying? Oh. Guys. Huh? Guys have the ability to See? talk themselves out of some good shit. A yes, lot. absolutely. Imagine having two guys at the same time. Like we're going to be- Oh, that'd be irritating. Right. You don't want two guys. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying if they weren't in the same location, maybe when one was talking stupid, I could run over to the other one. Nah, they're going to say dumb shit in both of you. Oh, same my time. God. Yeah, yeah, same, okay. same that, time. That would be irritating. I don't know that, you, that is, And that is what happens when you try to date. Because I told you guys I was trying to date like- Multiple guys. Yeah, I just, I can't do it. Can we bring I, him on the show? I don't think they want to come on the show. So it, Two of my bitches in the club. <laughs> so it, and they, know they know about, about each, other. each other. So the two guys, or how many guys was it? Oh, wow, more than two. No, it was three like guys? three or four. It was four at one time. But, I, but I was just dating. Roster. No, 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 four. but I wasn't, I was, no sex or nothing. No, 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 no sex or anything. Four bodies? No, no bodies. I wasn't. Have, I literally didn't kiss or anything. Like we what? just, we just went out on dates. I was just then dating. You weren't. That's not really dating. That is dating. That's not. That's going out. Dating to is eat. not fucking. You wouldn't. Mm, what? Dating is definitely fucking. Yeah. It is not. It definitely. Is. Well, I was doing a different kind of dating. See how you say kind of dating? Like you, this is a this different is, form. That's not real. That, what are maybe you why about? they all fell off. They didn't nah, fall off. If you're dating and you're not fucking, then you're not you're dating. You're not dating. That is not true. No, dating is not fucking. Fucking no, is two, fucking. No, you're two friends, two lame ass <laughs> friends is what you are. You're <laughs> right. two after school specials. Right. You're green yeah. peas. It's not true. No, yes, you are. It's not true. No, yes, yes. It's not true. You have to yes, fuck to date. You do not. You do. You don't. No, you do. One of my guy friends told me, he told me, he gave me the advice. He said, Crystal, what you need to do is just have sex quickly. So then the guy just all of a sudden gets used to having you around and he starts liking the sex. And the next thing you know, he's like, damn, she's like my girlfriend. Mm. I was like, I don't, don't want to do that. That's sad. But you know what, though? That's only one of at least four or five friends because no, you had four other friends no, that you were going that, out to dinner you, with. You throw no, yourself I wasn't going on out to him, dinner man. with him. No, he he was just. No, I'm saying he's a friend, and then you had four other friends that you were going out from time to time, yeah. not kissing, not fucking having dinner with. Yeah. Friends, not anything else. Yeah, but they're I mean, we're not, dating because maybe it could flip into something else. Maybe it could transition. What is friends with benefits? No, it's not. If it I don't have benefits if, in my friendship. If, if y'all not on the same page in the beginning, we then are it's on not. the same page. No, you're not because you're not fucking. <laughs> have you used your new vagina yet? No, I told you I'm not going <laughs> to use it. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. You mean to tell me these niggas knew you had a new vagina? No, they didn't know that. Spending four to five hundred dollars on a vagina, hey, and man. Not using all, it. I didn't tell them. Yo. I didn't tell them that it's none of their business. And it just, everybody knows. But I, don't, but I talk to you guys about it. But they, a lot of them probably don't listen to the podcast. And yes. the ones that do, they're not gonna. They're not gonna call me out about it. If I spend four to five hundred dollars on my dick, I'm using it then. If you, I spend, might even make it out to dollars on this on your dick. You're using it then. I'm you're fucking a nurse. Okay, that's. Ignorant, okay? It's true, You're though. Ignorant. I'm, as You're soon ignorant. As when they're taking okay. the bandages off. <laughs> oh, no. Ignorant. You're ignorant. When they're taking the bandages off. <laughs> they got to take put They got to put the bandages on while it's hard, though. If they put Here the bandages on while it's soft, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? While I'm healing, I'm going to fuck the bandages <laughs> oh, up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up! Oh my God. <laughs> to be honest, though, if you if you got a dick surgery, they'd have to probably put it on a splint anyway. Just no, to they keep don't. It, keep because it straight. I told you guys that they can add fat to it. I really think that a lot of men. I don't put my dick on the splint. You're gonna ruin my that. curve. If you're not as thick and your and your girth is not where it needs to be, you can have some collagen inserted to make it a little more plump. And that can Until only you tell me where you. collagen comes from, <laughs> you can't make people, nobody's you know going to want to do this. I'm going to get, I'm going to get Dr. Boots Taylor to call in. Nobody's okay? going to do this until you tell me where collagen comes from. I'm going to get her to call in and talk to you guys from. about it. Okay? So they should still lay it on a splint though. That way they, they It doesn't because you just want to plump it up. It's just going to plump it up. But I mean, while it's healing, it doesn't have to heal? No, it's just like if you get collagen put in your lips. How much does that cost? Around 4000 I don't know. I'll, we'll have Nurse. We'll have her. Nurse. We, <laughs> If my shit is fatter and it costs me forty five hundred, Dr. Boots Taylor will have her call in. Because my wife can't even be mad. Forty five hundred. Somebody owe me some pussy. I think you should surprise pussy. her. I think you should. What you should do is you should get it plumped up, really, right? And then what you if she don't just want it surprise plumper? her? Well, you don't tell her. She's never gonna be like, oh no, plumper is bad. No, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> nah, you don't. You don't want to surprise your woman with a new dick. I think you do. <laughs> no, I would love to be surprised. Blindfold her. She's yeah, like, who the fuck? Right. Be honest, who you got in this room? The fuck that you, you been fucking with? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I think she would just be mm. like, oh, and it oh really? Be That's what you yeah. do? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It matter. 
Somehow I think the execution of that ain't gonna go the same. Right, way. it's gonna be weird. Right. It'll be awkward as fuck. That'll be awkward. It Surprising sound, your woman with a fat dick. It sounds better in theory. It may sound better in theory, but I, I think it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, until you rip some. Oh my god, no one's ripping anything. Have you seen you a baby? You can break a dick. Did you Have not you know seen you can a break baby a dick? lately? Have you seen a baby? <laughs> not lately. <laughs> not lately. Luckily, my kids are damn near grown. But do you know that babies range between five and ten? I've seen a vagina tear. And they have to finish cutting it with a piece of okay, or whatever. Okay, let's don't make the motion, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. I hate you. Okay, well, let's talk about pulling the tape off of the penis. No, it's got to, that's just something, it's got to be hard first. Uh, no, I want it to be soft so that it can lay into the tape and just kind of smear into it. And the- <laughs> smear? Oh, no. No. Hmm, change next topic. Let's change, change the subject. I don't want to talk about this yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's what you guys want to talk so, about. So, T.I. <laughs> <laughs> T.I. did a new video. Actually, it ain't, a, it ain't it's not like a, it's a whole a, music video. It's an ad. Right. What is it? It's a PSA? It's no, it's an ad for his album. It is for Dime Trap. Mm-hmm. In stores now. People are saying they don't like Shouts the album. Shout out to Tip. I like the album. It reminds me of old Tip. Yeah, I do, I, I I do think it. that too. I do like it better than the... I like it better because it does remind me of old Tip. What was your favorite Tip album? Oh, man. Trap music. Trap music. Yeah. Mine was Urban Legend. I mean, it's between those. I, I, it's between those two. I, like I, I would down say low, trap music, down and then low, like down low, down, yeah, and then and then yeah, quickly low. underneath it, or like they they almost are tying, but weird. My my second favorite is the first one. I'm serious. Hey, I can see you saying yeah, that. That's not yeah. gonna be mine. That shit was mine jamming, music. and that was the only one that was with LaFay. I mean, with La Rio. Right? what's your name? That that shit was jamming. I'm serious, oh, it was jamming. No, it was jamming. I'm just saying, I, I like it more. Yeah. I, I like the evolution. I, but didn't you feel like the Dime Trap kind of is a throwback to that? Like he's, yeah. it's like he's mm-hmm. kind of he's calm. He seems real calm on the album, and like yeah. laid back. Like I don't got anything to prove. I'm just, yeah. I'm just rapping. He's still different, though. and I think he's still rapping his ass off. He's he's one of the most consistent lyrically that I've because you know like even people talked about Lil Wayne and Lil Wayne had a period where they were like yo what the fuck is he saying yeah Tip is consistently being like yeah I, I want to come he's back got to a lot Tip. of personality too I mean that's yeah. the thing I think people really love his I mean he's he just he's a charismatic dude that has stayed that has remained authentic throughout his career and I think people really appreciate and respect yeah. him for that mm-hmm. I I want to come back to Tip about that um, that um ad but. Did you guys, I don't know if it, maybe it wasn't just me. Maybe everybody heard just the same, and I'm just late to the party. But when Wayne's album came out, I felt like, oh, so every fucking body has been copying Wayne the past six years. All the mumble rap motherfuckers, all the people that I think suck are all copycats of Wayne. Not that I think Wayne sucks, but hearing his new project made me understand who everybody was copying. Because I had no idea. I was like, where did this shit start? Oh, Wayne, every all of them. A lot of there are definitely a lot of artists out there that copy Wayne. Wayne, all the Wayne had a run where everybody just anything Wayne did was hot as hell, and yeah. So no, no, I'm talking about the ones that are out now, though. But this this is where they come from. Yeah, you just haven't heard you haven't heard Wayne, so exactly. they sound like themselves. But when you hear Wayne, you realize they, they were really trying sound to like be Wayne. Wayne, and they they failing miserably though. Mm-hmm. Wayne is is dope. They're. Mm, they say Wayne is dope They are Like I like Wayne's album I like a, f- a few songs on it Yeah But hearing him rap Even in 2018 I'm like wow So this is what all this shit Has been It's his fault I have to blame him <laughs> Is it his fault? Yes Why it's you say that? Fault. Because but they all gonna, sound but like why, But why are we blaming him though? That just means that he's a genius Because so many mm. people Are following him Well right? no Because everybody sucks Who does it Except for him but I don't think that's his Genius? fault. So if you like... Mm. I think he's a trendsetter. He's, he's an icon. Are you responsible for your clones? No. Bless them. Let them follow. I don't know. That, Let them eat that cake. That sounds like a legend question. Let them eat cake. Okay, so Melania Trump is in the T.I. ad. Or not Melania, It's a but, very strong right. lookalike. Like, no, 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 no. no. Like, did, you, did you see it? I did. She's wearing her jacket. I saw the it. The jacket has like the writing I on it. I saw it. Yeah, no, it's obviously supposed much, to be her. Yeah, but I mean, the, the model looks a lot like her. Like, I don't know what they did, but she looks a lot like her. And you seem to feel like it was disrespectful. I feel like it was very disrespectful. I feel like, and I love T.I., I really do. But I think that that is, first of all, Melania hasn't done anything. Like, she's just as unhappy as the rest of us. We see her batting off his hands and, you know, and 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 turning the cold shoulder to him just like the rest of the world. So I think you making her as a target was was like 
weird. I think it comes from that that idea that, you know, if I disrespect your wife, I disrespect you. But wives should kind of be off limits. Like, that's that man's wife. I yeah, don't think that's, that's cool. And it's, it's also... The what rules of engagement. Do? It's it's also she didn't war. do anything. She, in the video, she don't have, she's guilty by association, and not to mention she's she, not guilty by association. She absolutely she absolutely she doesn't is. even hold his hand in public. They were yeah, saying yeah, fuck yeah, Jim Brown that. on on Twitter, Instagram. That's retarded mm-hmm. too. But they were saying it. He was just in the room. Yeah, I think that they there's a feeling of of a sellout in that. But I'm just saying, Melania, go after Trump. Like that's not to me. That's like a very misogynistic way of trying to prove your point. I'm gonna. You know, def- defame your wife, or you know, trick, trick, you know, treat What's your wife like a trick. What's the opposite of misogyny? Respect. No, 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 no. When fe- when women do, when women say, "I took your man." Do they say that? Uh, yes. Brosogyny, like miss. I mean, like that's like one song miss, compared to like misogyny. a history of a whole music genre. Like, your, there's a whole genre based on. Man, like, y'all, y'all, try to, y'all try to soften like it with one the whole song woman that says, to woman. I'll take your man. Why do you ask? Woman to woman was about a woman sleeping with someone's I'm, husband. I'm I'm curious, but because I hear I hear misogyny all the time, but when women do the same thing, I don't. Women I don't, don't do. There's that. not a term for that. You cannot objectify men because men want to be objectified. Like, there's no way to do it. Huh? I can't even I can't respond to that um, I don't see What was so wrong With the, the ad I don't think that Melania did anything But just dance on the table What is her background Didn't she like But a, she did it for a Negro So is Black people are That's that's disrespectful Because she did it for a black person it's Having someone's Having doing a Doing a video Suggesting someone's wife Is now your whore Is disrespectful That's not his whore She's just dancing it was it. There was more suggested. My horror, in like what? It was more suggested. Like what? In the video. She got up on the table. She showed her breast. And then, it, and then everything closed. And then like the doors off. closed and stuff. They like just it went was, outside for a little while. She went in the locker Shut room. And That's the Oval Office. There's not a bedroom in that. In the next room. Oh, so Tip has. Uh, we we know Tip is being someone that would only have fuck, fuck in a bedroom. Really? He's married. He did. He did have Shut a cigar. Up. He, he did, did have, have a cigar. cigar. He's married. What, what's in, the problem? In the Oval Office. He's what's married. The he, he, and we don't know him for having any extramarital activities. He alluded. He pish tosh. He alluded to them doing some grown things. First of all, we all know that it was not Melania. You, <laughs> I can't. Ma'am. I can't. You guys ma'am. cannot see his self-righteous mug they right now. It. They're looking right at yeah, it. Yeah, but there are some ma'am. people listening and ma'am. they can't. I, you know what? <laughs> That's not Melania, ma'am. <laughs> An actress. <laughs> she looks that so, lady looked better than Melania. That was a compliment. So Melania is now boycotting Dime Trap. Retarded. It, I don't think she's it's asking effective. people to boycott it. Yeah, she, she is. Does she realize the people she's asking to boycott it don't give a fuck about Trump and probably are <laughs> they wasn't listening to T.I. No way. <laughs> right. Huh? The, right. None the people, of those people even people know about the boycott. Dime Trap. Right. Like it doesn't even make sense. But so I don't, but I, I do I do think that you agree, he should have done that. No, I just don't think he should have done that. Why? I don't think that. Her Just demographic because, is even purchasing Dime Trap. There's not going to be a... a, a but the sales they're aware are not now. They're aware. And those who are don't they, like... Yes. Are they even listening? Who listens to her? Do we... Re- I mean... Do we respect her? So we, that's we not more disrespectful what you're saying right now. I'm than, just saying I don't think people see her. She has not positioned herself as a leader. Sure, she, she is. has not. She did. Well, she, but you know she what? copied it an starts, entire speech from the one so of the stupid. most popular black women in the world. Right, but it, she's positioning herself. It, it it does open the door to a certain question because if she's offended by that video and she's offended by, for example, the way that he he treated her like a whore, right. then why is she not more vocal about the things that? Her husband has done. Okay, you can't be married to someone and speak against them, even even in a court of law. Uh, black if, women do it all the time. No, no, excuse me. If if be honest goes to court for a crime, you don't have to, you don't he have can't. To. His wife does not have to. In fact, she right. does not have to testify. It is not. It is not even logical to assume that someone who is married to someone and that person is obviously providing her wherewithal, her but why is financial her- wherewithal, that she would come out and speak against him, like. She would get a divorce first. That well, would be the natural progression. But she's really ironic right now, too, though. Why is her campaign, you know how the, the first lady has like a campaign? Why is hers anti-bullying and her husband is the biggest bully? Right. Like, it, come on. 
She's complacent. Complicit, excuse me. I don't believe that. I, th- I just think that she's in a bad situation. She was thrust into there. She had thrust. no idea that good, this good choice of that words. this man was going to end up president of the United man, States. Man, I know. Like one day she was just you know sitting in a little room until Wearing she got her a ridiculous telegram, a, amazing clothes. That you know, just, she was being ordered. Jesus, what's her background? She's from Russia. No, but what did she, she do was, in Russia? She was a. I mean. She was, she was a mail she order bride. Bro- she was a bride. The she mail was a mail order, order bride. bride. And she was and a Playboy. Yes, yeah, she was in Playboy. So, so, uh-huh. so what did T.I. do that she so, hadn't already done? We don't know that what she did. All we know that she posed. In Playboy. This so is what, what we... T- that's why I'm saying, like, on, if you're offended, on what grounds? I am offended. She is now a wife, and every woman has... A, has every person has an opportunity. T.I., Went to jail, but he's able to go oh, around every and do has political. A, go ahead. Every person has a Everyone right. has a right to to be second seen. Second chance. Yeah, second yeah. chance. So if you rape kids, you have a you have a right to do have a second chance. I was speaking. I wasn't speaking about child molesters oh, or gonna, child rapists. It's always different time. for when a guy does a crime. Anyway, and, if a um, woman rapes a child, she should wanna, not be given a second chance either. Oh, okay, good. Long rapist, as you keep, long as you keep child that rapists that. should be rapists. Period. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you guys hear that? Um, supposedly, Bill Cosby is. Is supposed to be upset with Camille because she uh, emptied out the bank accounts. I don't believe that. Why did she empty the bank accounts? Well, she didn't make none of that money. She didn't do nothing. You know what? What do you know Camille for? Camille. That's the only time I even heard her fucking name. You know what? You're so Camille. Di- put the money back. You're so disrespectful. How? She disrespectful. She emptied this nigga she, bank account. Up? She was by his side I like for the, years. I like the SNL skit. Years. I'm saying, man. She held the family down. What? And the family businesses, the philanthropy. She did not. Her philan- philanthropic efforts are uh, legendary and Says they have who? changed lives. Says who? Do you not realize they were responsible for so many young African American women? Who? The Cosbys? A la Bill? He's the one who did all the jokes and shit. She was the she was actually the one that was the in the in the leadership role in their philanthropy. I don't know, you know that to that. be true. Yes, you do, because he was working all the time. It was her. It was her face that. So was So he was out making the money. It. She was giving it away. Yeah. Well, she actually, you know Bill was giving a lot of money away too. He bought hotels. He bought flights. <laughs> you know Drugs. What? I'm not gonna turn pill this packs. into another. Right. He bought pill packs. Yeah, liquor and cigars <laughs> and hoagies and and. Yo, he was paying college Same tuitions hoagies. on motherfuckers and shit. I'm just saying, he was feeding them hoes. I'm not talking about donating to the Negro College Fund. I'm talking about right. he paid some tuition. You're, yeah, he you some clothes. Lucretia, he paid Lucretia with his family. It seems like he did not pay me Lucretias at all. He did not deal with a lot of. I don't sisters. blame him. I don't blame him. They probably wouldn't accuse him of rape though, because they know they can't win right. in court. They would have. They would have pinned the baby to him. Yeah, oh my exactly. god! You guys are horrible. Absolutely, they know they can't win in court. Except what? child, black the billion women, dollar bill. Black women got a baby. Black women can't Definitely. win in court, but they can win in child support court. But they're not. They're not even gonna challenge nobody in a real court. But child support court, they win all day because they want you to stay on it. <laughs> it's true though. That's not. That's not even a hot take. That's just fucking truth. Speaking of child support and 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 men, isn't there the didn't our girl or or Bianca's favorite girl didn't her book come out the book that he had been waiting for so Ooh, diligently? Yes, <laughs> yes, the book, the book, the book, the book, the book, the book. book, a book, the book. She got a fucking book, book, all right, a book, <laughs> book, nigga. What we want from you is a book. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we want. Of all the things you could give us, give us a fucking book, book. <laughs> fucking yeah. book. Now I'm upset about the book. Why? I'm upset because you knew it was coming. <laughs> How were you prepared yeah, for this? I didn't know that she was going to bring slander against one of our cultural heroes. We've got to get rid of the book for the culture. <laughs> for the culture. What is what is her nationality? What I mean, you know, she's American. What is her race? I have no idea. Kevin, do you know? Uh, I don't. She's Would ambiguous. you like to take a gander? She's swirly she's as mixed. as uh, yes. as Wendy Williams says. She's swirly, so she could be a variety of things. Okay, okay. Black that, is black one of those. I things? I know that scores big with the African American crowd. Is black one of those things? Maybe I don't know. Doesn't look like it to me. But hey, okay. I know that scores big with you guys. Who? What guys? The mixed part. Come on with the uh, the book. Who does she talk? Who is she? She's talking about Kaepernick. Yes, <laughs> yes. She says that Kaepernick made her buy her own. Flight made a pay phone flight to come see him and have sex. I wonder what. Okay, explain. Made me pay for my flight. 
How does that work? I'm talking to a guy on the phone. He says, I'd like you to come see me. I say, I'd like to come. I wait. (laughs) Awkward (laughs) silence. (laughs) And then if he doesn't interject, then I say, I I can't wait to come see you. If he doesn't say anything, (laughs) I again wait. So how does he make me Pay. How how does he make me? Kevin, try to do it. Let's role play. Okay. Ooh, fine, how do you fine. make me pay for my flight? Pay or else. No, that's not role play. Pay or the dog gets that's it. Not role play. Role play. Come play. on, Kevin. Come on. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, it's Cap. Hey. He, he said knowingly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you? Chilling. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Rocking this afro. <laughs> oh my god! When are you gonna? When? I, when am I gonna get to come Does see she you? She really sound like. That? Oh gosh, she sounds like that. Okay, so I mean, yeah, first of all, your, your, fir- sound like your that. first mistake was you asked when am I gonna come see you? Okay, go, proceed and fight. Uh, I mean, you know, I got a uh, a bunch of meetings. They still trying to to sign me on the t- under the table, but they don't want me to tell nobody. You know. Okay, so. When are you going to have some time for me? Um, I mean, I'm actually, I'm going to be in New York. I got to go to New York. So I'm going to be out there all week, you know, maybe, you know, another time. I mean, if you want to, if you want to come, then, you know, that's on you. But yeah, that's where I'll be. What do you mean it's on me? I mean, do you want, do you want to see me? Oh God, I, every dude hates this conversation. Do you, you break want your character, to sir. see me? I am. Do you want to see me? I mean... You could come, but if you don't, I ain't messed up with it, you know. Okay, first, I have to get out of character. That never goes that way. Yeah, a guy no. never says that. Never says, really? I mean, you could come. Because you got to remember, you are wanting the kitty cat. Wait a minute, Future kind of did that. No, it's yeah, funny. Future did guys it. do that every day. <laughs> he yo. didn't. He, he no. didn't say it like that. Right. Future's was Perfect. It was right. hilarious. He, cause, cause he, he, he led her to believe he was actually gonna pay her back. Right. And then when she led when her she, to believe, he did. No, he told yeah, her he, he was gonna he pay was, her back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then when she got there, he wanted to come see her, and she was like, he wanted to come to the hotel. She said no. She wanted to come to the studio, and he was like, "Fuck, it. you I'm make good music with me? Joy. We don't make music that together." Was the best line of. 2018. So you're not really leading me the way. My, my point is, how can Cap how can, nobody make can make her her yeah. pay for a flight? Round trip first class tickets are expensive. I'm hoping that she didn't put herself in coach. First class. I mean, you know, like I Why said, are you flying I'm, first class? You're Brit- Brene Britton or what's her name? Brittany. I don't even know her fucking name. Renner. Brit. Brittany Renner. She's a bundle of Brittany. Brittany Renner. You don't get first class. I mean, you might, but Some you got to pay. Some guys will it. pay first class. Wait, let me ask you something. Here's, here's an interesting question that I feel: Is Kaepernick a good man? Yeah, I even think though, he's a good even man. though he made her buy her own flight, he did not make her. That is a that is a that is a well. Here's the moron. here's the thing. It, you're absolutely How right. Do you but make women do this. Take out their credit card. And women buy do this a ticket. all the time. Anytime women have to do something that they don't want to be responsible is this, for. Is this generalization? Is this what this is right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If, sure. they, if they're doing something that they don't want to be responsible for, it's you made me do it. No, I he can't, can't make you buy your own ticket. I don't know why she said that. But that you wanted to come asinine. more. And see, this is the thing. Because there are, there are more women. He wanted her to come as well. Even though, Allegedly, we see, here's the we thing. We heard his side of it. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's well, talk about sex, so. let's talk about leverage. All right, let's, let's talk about leverage in dating. Because I'm Kaepernick, you're Brittany Renner. You want my penis in your vagina more than my penis wants to go in your vagina. Mm-hmm. My penis, Definitely. I'm Kaepernick. My penis can go in several vaginas, <laughs> but you want it to be yours. Uh, the thing about that is, I know a lot of guys that can have sex with a lot of girls, but they all they seem to want it equally bad from all of them. It's very strange. Mm, I think mm. you got that twisted. I think a nigga that's the sales pitch. Yeah, oh, it's a sales pitch. Yeah, I don't think My it. Bad. I think it matters less than you think it does. Obviously, because he didn't pay. Well, why would he pay her though? Honestly, though, Kevin has a point. She's she's 
trying to come up with a book. Like he's like, what? Well, uh, yeah, I don't understand why she would say he made. I'm her sure friends. if they found out, if, if women found out what hotel he was in, they'd be waiting at his door. They would. I've 25 seen Britney Renners. Yeah. 25 br- better than Britney's. At mm-hmm. less than. I mean, what is what is better than con- con- oh, consistent? Like, Whatever his type. I got a know. book and a movie. Whatever his type is. Okay. Maybe she's not his type. But you know, here's my problem, uh, bitch. We just saw you on Instagram <laughs> talking about all the niggas you fucking and sucking and what? Like what? You're not. You're not a high. Com- you're not a commodity. Like it's not like you're this not. Is, this is not a rare find. This no, is not, this is not but, precious gold. You giving people your body count on on Instagram? You're not. You're not the the one that I'm gonna. I, I'm not paying for that. But I mean, you know, who am I, right? Right, Brittany. Who am I? Is that less than? Is that, does that make her? I just don't. Again, does I don't she did understand. Not, does she not deserve like to be she, happy? I feel like she wanted to do. The Kaepernick is someone that has a great image that people are like, you know, have have romanticized him into this, you know, this this leader. And she, this this Instagram chick, wants us wants to color a bad picture of him. And I, I'm just not with it right now. Like, you know. Oh, you think it's like it's like a, a sales pitch? Yeah, or I something. think they're taking to try and take I mean, him yeah, down. I'm I think sure they're trying to assassinate it, it his character. Sells the book. Well, I mean, she has the book out too. The, uh, it sells the book. I mean, she book. had to. Very, I'm sure whoever her very, publisher very is was like, hey, we got to sell. What's the, what's the selling points? What's the sizzle? Well, of this I mean, book? I, other than the fact that the cover is so brilliant, the idea that. Oh, my God. The title is just such a clever play on words. Yeah, judge this cover and she's <laughs> naked with an apple. <laughs> it's an apple, right? Yeah, I, I don't. It's an uh, apple. What? Come on, Bernie. Yeah, Th- this this is what tells me that you have nothing to offer. <laughs> it, I mean, you're naked on the cover, and it says "judge this cover," i.e., you have nothing to offer. Instead of not judging a book by its cover, judge this cover. Why do you have a book? A book? <laughs> a book? Here we go again. A book. <laughs> a book. Brittany Renner's book. How, how many does, I, does Neil how many IG have models book? have books? <laughs> does Neil deGrasse Tyson have a book? Most most <laughs> IG models make videos and they don't even talk in the video. This right. one they has, just mouth words to a song. Right. This one ha- is vocal with by pen. She right. She's she, either she talking, has a voice. She has a message. Literary diva. She is, she's either talking about how many men she, how many men she smashed or she's writing an entire fucking book. A book. A book. Did you did you wonder assume. about all the celebrities? No, <laughs> you obviously did because no. of the way you positioned the question. Mm. She's naked on the cover. You have no, you're not even letting us get to the inside to get the juice. It's on the fucking cover. Well, that's what it is. Period. I mean, you're telling people how to sleep with ball players and the fact that they don't use condoms. I mean, there's no there's nothing that we're, we're done. So, Thank you. A book. <laughs> But don't women women do, do women huh? do women still huh? read like those those really? uh, black novels those sex novels? That's not what that they is. Don't st- it's, this That's this not isn't, what that is. This isn't the new Zane. I'm t- oh my god! From no. a from no, a reality Zane, point of no, view, no, because Zane was all about fantasy. fantasy. Right? There's yeah. no fantasy it's there. All She's giving it away, and I don't even think that could possibly exist anymore this because is- Instagram. Everybody is into such immediate gratification. It's it's ridiculous, but I don't think she's doing anything that probably a million other very popular Instagram chicks have the same thing. Yeah. I've been with a girl that that was an Instagram chick years ago, and she had so many dudes in her DM. It was crazy, like so many married, famous celebrity guys. I'm like, why is he not afraid of a screenshot? Like, why would he not go under an alias? No, just the whole, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't want my contract. Like, I want to lose my family. Like, they just, why you know. Why lose his family? Well, yeah, that's true. Silly. Man. I don't. I don't judge the cover. I judge anybody who fucking buys that book. I judge anybody who reads that. Is book. the book available for downloads, or is it just <laughs> in book there form? There is. I think there is an audio book. <laughs> yes. Shut up. I wouldn't. I don't believe you. I'm serious. I'm serious. I wouldn't get look, that. I need, to, I need you to look and see. I wouldn't I get that with a free see. audible. She did not a free audible sit account where you and, get one credit and, and do that. Well, if she did, then what? You, you don't, cannot you don't convince buy me that, that, buy that she has made an audio book. I hope it's her talking to him. That's what I'm saying. I'm just like, oh my God, is it her? It's not. I don't believe it. I really do hope it's her. I really don't believe it. This is amazing, man. These are amazing times. Anybody, literally fucking anybody <laughs> can write a book. <laughs> Kevin was waiting on it. Anybody. I mean, I remember Jawar used to tell us about self-publishing. You remember that? <laughs> and we all owe him an apology. Yes, we do. We owe him an apology. Jawar, but I, we apologize. But I also kind of blame him. 
Because she probably was at the Atlanta's Music Conference. She probably was at the Atlanta's Music Conference. Oh, my God. It is an audio (laughs) book. And it's her. Oh, my God. I literally feel like the emoji of... <laughs> oh my! An audio book, an audio book, an audio book, an audio book. And she's in there with a crop top, Jawar, showing her stuff. I blame you, Jawar. Doing the Wherever audio book. Oh my god! I'm I'm done, and I'm and I'm done, and I'm done. Yes, I'm done. Kevin, you have ruined. Who, I'm done. Who is the the all time? <laughs> who's the all time number one of this though? Of all this, like. The thing that she's doing, like this, the thottery. The, mm-hmm. Well, I won't say thottery because that's disrespectful. Really? Yeah. Thottery is disrespectful. Wait. Is, is Kim okay. K the, the number one? Is she the one? Is she the queen of it? Or is there somebody who's better than her in history? You know, anything, speaking, any time in history. Speaking of Kim K, I really hate you for sending us this. Co- I don't want that cover, okay? And I, I don't want. Yeah, the he cover. sent us the cover in our um, messages. I, I saw Ray J's unsung. Right, Ray J has a a new unsung. And it's really not unsung. It may not be unsung, but it's on TV One. What? It may Ray be exposed. J, Ray J did something? And it- no, it may be one of those exposed, but it's kind of like a biography of the person. It talks about his career. Yeah, because I was about to say, you have to be on top at one point to be on unsung. I don't think well, Ray J ever... Well, he actually... That's what's, what's interesting about it. Ray J's been on reality TV for 20 years. Whoa. Like, you're, do you guys remember what he did for The Love of Ray J? Yeah. Oh, he yeah. He did two seasons. That, like, he's consistently been behind the scenes on... And people don't. Money, um, he was hell. Mo, he was on Moesha. He was on Moesha. Was show there was another show with Sinbad. So they show yep. all of it, and it's like, wait a minute, this dude has actually been doing wow. his thing. Then they showed not only that, they showed the, the the song "Wait a Minute" he had with Little Kim, and there was like rumors of him and Little Kim messing around. Mm-hmm. Then Sexy he had Can another I? song, "Sexy Can I" with Young Berg. Then he had "One Wish," which was actually really, you know, it was Somebody a good R and B song. Yeah, they did. Then he was, you know, in this relationship with Whitney Houston, which is a big, you know, and of course. <laughs> Like, like he's he's got some weird. I stuff. take it back. Ray J is the king of this shit. Yeah, he's the, Kim Kardashian learned from him. Yeah, and so and then of course it's it was in about his nuts tape. It ta- It was in it was Ray J's nut is magic. <laughs> Yo, Ray J's nut is magic. He can sell that shit. He did. He did. But he and it's funny because he's he's so. When I tell you he's built for this, because you know they ask him Obviously, about. Obviously, like you're you're blowing my mind with all this, these details. I've forgotten about all of this stuff. Yeah, and how that, dare I? How say, dare you? How could he have an unsung? This nigga deserves every song, all <laughs> he, all of it. His he nut is, is magic. <laughs> Kim Kardashian swallowed that shit and got superpowers. She did. She did. And it blew both of them and up. And now Kanye he got would, superpowers too. He, he would had, love to hear oh, you say that. Wow, you, he would love to hear you Oh my that. God. The uh, left, the I'm left not joking. Ray J, dude, what, you make black girl magic in your <laughs> nut. Like Kim Kardashian made a career out of nothing. Absolutely nothing. This bitch got a book. <laughs> an audio book too. <laughs> you are a magician. He's, he's done it. He's done it. He has a, it's the funniest thing the to me about fuck? Ray J is when he did when he did wow. for the love of Ray J right he did for the love of Ray J and at the end of it he would say to all the he would say to the girls and they got kicked off blessings to you <laughs> <laughs> it was the funniest thing if you go back and read I was like what is he talking about he would say blessings to you because he's just and, and the girls would be like no he's amazing at being able to conform he knows whatever it is now he's on loving hip hop Hollywood. Ray J may be the biggest star of our time. <laughs> well, now he has a thirty-one million dollar deal with Raycon Global. He's selling headphones. He's uh, he's 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 got a scooty, but he's doing it, and he's still on reality TV. Like he's wow. he's managed to 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 you know now he now he has changed his image, and now he's the husband and the father. We have seen wow. him go through to create thoughts. To create the biggest thought, he started it, and then your was he, Flavor of Love first. Or was his show first? Flavor of Love was first, but then he had the. But song, he did it better than Flavor. He did it better because it was Ray the J. Like fuck? Flavor of Love was like a joke, but it's like Where? Ray J. Like girls were like, okay, I could kind of do that. Right. But then he had a song. That said, I hit it first, and he made fun. And even on the video, he laughed. Like Kanye what? didn't come for him. He talked about Nick Cannon, Drake. All, he didn't say shit about Ray J. Yo, Ray J might be the biggest star in the world. <laughs> I'm not playing. I I I am ashamed of myself for even dissing him for. He don't second. get the credit he deserves. He does Blessings it. Blessings to you. And, and the songs that he did come out with, they're pretty okay songs too. Yeah, so no, I was, I, I'm telling you, when I was watching it, I was like, they well, weren't awful songs. They well, were. They, I don't know if they were hit hits. Well, and Whitney Houston nah, is he did a have big some star. Hit hits, they just didn't pop. Like no, especially that album with Pharrell. 
Yeah, yeah that's what Pharrell I'm talking about. The one. The, yo, that's, the wait a minute, was actually was fuck. a dope song. Yeah. Like, 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 I mean, legit. are you guys forgetting the fact that he, Whitney Houston, even though we know her demise, right? She was still a big fucking star. Yeah, like, and was. he was a lot younger than her. And he bagged <laughs> Whitney Houston to the point where, like, oh my God. And he netted a career in, Ky- in Kim's mouth. That's crazy. Yo, she is the biggest thought queen of them all. And it's because of Ray J's nut. That is, and we've always known that, but we didn't know there was magic in the nut. That is amazing. Hey, wow. Shout out to Ray J. <laughs> I'm blown away, man. Yeah, I mean that's. I'm telling you, I interviewed him for the cover rolling out, and he's. He, I don't think I've met more charismatic people than Ray J. Wow, he ain't really, that Brandy's little brother? No, nope. yeah. that's. But Brandy, you know what? The fact that he actually put that in the record was Jin Jeans. Like he's gonna put it out there. He he's gonna roll with it. Now I'm gonna start saying, ain't that uh, Ray J's little sister, big sister? <laughs> right, right. I think yeah. Ray J's big sister. At this point, I think it is. Wow. It is, it's, it's not- but you know what I you know what I like about him? And I can I like when I am able to tell like cool celebrity stories. So we offered him like a an, an amount of money to host a party, right? And he was like, mm, I would like that, but you know what? I'd like to do it with my sister. You guys split it between the two of us and I'll do it. I thought that was so dope. Like, remember the song that he had, they the two that Brandy had called Best Friends, where he showed their mm-hmm. relationship. Like he really, really is a and he's really like in love with his daughter. Like we've been able to see him grow up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Shout out to Ray J. <laughs> And, you know, I'll do respect. With you know all what? due respect to his magical powers. That's who needs a book, though. That, I'll read that, that book. I'll read book, that though. book. I would read that we book. We want now it's Ray like, J to retract her book, <laughs> and someone book needs to give Ray J a Ray J can even be naked with an apple on the front of it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we're okay with it. Just, you know, just on whatever. On a scooty bike. Put him on a scooty bike <laughs> naked. It's okay. It's all right. I don't want... Don't do that, Ray. She got a book, Kev. She got a book. Come on, man. She has a book. Where's your book? No, but you it's didn't a, write a but, book. But no. she was. It was. But but what Krista really? Wrote a what book? really your book? What really messed me up was the audio book. Like I, I just, I, you know, and she's naked. Hustling. She's naked. She can't hey, even. Man. She can't even wear a sweatshirt to, to read the audio book. She got to be half naked and in that she's too. Instagram post. This is why I be telling y'all, man. Is in, 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 Instagram. Don't girls judge be me. Hustling. I'm getting money. They be hustling. They be they be sucking on them uh, flat tummy tea lollipops and getting that surgery, getting it done. Well, I'll tell you no. what they need to suck on. Some of that magic nut. <laughs> it, it, hey, Instagram thoughts. Oh my god! She was. That's why she was flying herself to Kaepernick. Kaepernick ain't got to, magic. She was nut. looking for gold. Kaepernick she got Neil Neil nut. I'm talking about some magic fucking keep cre- you current hey. for twenty years. Creator. Fucking your whole family gets famous off this yes. nut. Yes, and and here we are stuck. What? This is not even a great picture. That's that that book is stupid as fuck. I'm sorry. I know that. I know that that I'm judging, and she. That's the point of it. But I don't. And I I'm usually sorry. want women to do. well. I always want women to do well. But come on, man. Oh, I don't care if she does well. I'm not mad that she if she makes a living out of it because you know, hey. But it's just it's stupid. I'm not gonna support it. Meh. Music, love, life. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're over it. You're over it. I'm yeah. over it. He she heard, has a book. He heard my edits when I knew <laughs> clips. <laughs> I, I, I'm still like, I'm, I'm still over, over, over the audio book. Like she's sitting there. Like, what is, what does that even sound like? What is the tone? Oh my god! So like. I flew to Miami with. Oh, no, because remember on her Instagram, it was kind of a harsh sound. Like she was kind she of has like a, a bad voice, kind of friend dresserish. I didn't like it. Yeah, she has a bad voice. I didn't voice. like it at all. Could you imagine Kaepernick putting her out? <laughs> <laughs> like whoa, like you know what I'm saying? After the sex, like because she's making that noise during sex. You have to be very fine to be to make those types of noises I mean, I with your vocal cords. I think she is cords. very fine, but, but you'd have to be. Is what I'm okay. saying. Well, she, I think she is. No, but you'd have to be. I got you. I got to you. make those noises out of your vocal cords. <laughs> you'd have to be. Who is behind this book? We must find it's the culprit. It's some guy. Some guy got in her head like, "Baby, I'm gonna make you." A I blame Jawar. If you if you listen to Jawar, we need to go in on him. In fact, <laughs> you told the these time, motherfuckers. The bring next Juwar, time we do, in, yeah. the next time, we, well, let the next time we do Facebook Live, let's let's go at Jawar. Jawar. You told these motherfuckers they could do their own books. He would be walking around with the book, uh, self published, self published. He probably encouraged some dude that was thinking, "I'm getting ready to make you a star." Make you an author. Well, we appreciate you guys tuning in. It's unfortunate. Again. This is music love. Yeah, so like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> you might probably lift her up. You know you got talent. You can be more than you this. You can use your brain. You're smarter than the rest of them. I and see that in you. I see potential in you, baby. 
Now get naked and get on this cover. <laughs> <Here's an> apple. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next week. Niggas ain't shit. Music Club Life.